Hey folks, this is Jeff. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how I built this bulletin board interaction for Storyline 2. First, let's take a quick look at it. Of course, you can find it in the Articulate forums. Just search for freebie bulletin board. This is the title of the interaction you see on screen. So uh, you'll find the post and there's the demo and the source file available there. So this is how it works. It starts up, it gives you an introduction. You can click that away. And here are, uh, in this case, six uh, notes on a bulletin board. And you can click them and additional content comes up. And in this example, I just put text in there. But of course, it could be video, audio, text with an image, anything you'd like. If you've got more text, you could even build in one of those scroll bars. But this is basically how the interaction works. Close it and you'll get a check mark and uh, you can just go through them in a random order and then we'll check them off time and time again and when you complete all of the notes you will get a summary so let's do that this is the last note and here comes the summary so when I close this I can either move off to the next slide or recheck them again so that's how the interaction works so let's take a look at how I built this so when you open up the story file, you'll see two scenes, one with the actual slide and all the content and one graphic scene. And in this graphic scene, I basically created the, uh, the notes images, as you can see here. So I could customize them, give them a different color, pin, uh, and basically right click them and save them as a picture. Um, and that's, these I kept in there so you could customize the color and look and feel of these notes if you want to. So if you want uh, different color pins to match your uh, color scheme, this is where you do it. Save them as a, as a PNG file and then you bring them into the board slide, which actually looks like this. Now what you see here is just a tile bar, a light gray background, a shape with a thick border, uh, representing the um, uh, bulletin board and uh, I've got the images of the uh, notes on there and on top of them I placed a hotspot so you can see the clickable areas each note and I'm gonna open up my timeline here each note has got a state a custom state a completed state so I can switch to the completed state uh, once they have been viewed Checking if they've been viewed is something I do with variables. So I've got a list of variables here and you can find them in the triggers panel. And I've got the introduction uh, layer and for each note I've got a layer uh, and a summary layer as well. So you can see those here. The layer is just a, uh, a recreated um, light box really so a semi-transparent black shape with a white shape two text boxes and a uh, <coughs> rectangle shape with an X in it with again some triggers on that and this one actually just exits the layer and if you go into the notes it actually sets the variable for the notes this in this case note one to true so I can check if this has been visited yes or no and based on if this is true I will uh, set the um, state of the notes to complete it so that's really what I do um, once all the uh, variables on the notes are set to true I will show the actual um, summary slide so the summary slides only appear when all notes have been viewed so you could build on that and if the summary slide has been viewed present them with a next button so that then you force them to go through this content so that's really the basics uh, take a look in the file if you've got any questions don't hesitate to contact me and uh, I'll be happy to help so that's it see you out there